You'll beg me to kill you before I'm done! Kill you before I'm done! Hello there my RPG lovers and welcome to another video. If you want to make Skyrim's combat a bit more dynamic, but you don't want to stray far away from the vanilla experience, this is the mod list for you. These mods add a couple of quote unquote modern mechanics that you expect to find in new action RPGs, but they also improve the existing mechanics quite drastically. In vanilla Skyrim your reaction time is almost not required and the combat is mostly stat based. This won't change that much, but you'll definitely have more ways to approach different combat situations. Let's begin with mods, which are basically the framework of this setup. This time around, I decided to go with Smilod on Combat of Skyrim instead of Wildcat. Both of these mods are by the same author, and Smilodon is basically the light version of Wildcat, but it's made from scratch. Smilodon will enhance the AI behavior in combat, add a couple of new mechanics and tweak some old ones. Various actions will now require stamina, and when your stamina gets low, all actors will be slowed down by 15%. Smilodon also tweaks every difficulty setting by increasing the damage you deal and take. The goal of this is to increase lethality and make the combat faster. Speaking of that, it adds two optional stagger features that you can use, Wound Stagger and Burst Stagger. Wound Stagger will trigger when the actor falls below certain health threshold, while Burst Stagger will trigger upon taking damage equal to 30% of the remaining health in combat. I used Wound Stagger in all of this footage, but Burst Stagger is recommended setting by the mod author. You can test both features and see what works for you. The last big feature in Smilodon is Attacks of Opportunity. Depending on the situation in combat, you'll deal and take more damage. This is definitely one of those features which will make the combat in Skyrim more dynamic. There are more changes to game settings that you can read on the Nexus page, but I think I covered all the major changes. The second mod which I consider to be the framework of this setup is Ordinator Perks of Skyrim. I won't waste a lot of time on this one because it's a really well known overhaul. It adds 400 new perks to the game which will allow you to make a lot of unique builds and it works great in combination with all the other mods on this list. The next mod on the list is called Critical Hit, Backstab and Parry. As you could see in a couple of scenarios, I was able to perform backstabs and parry in combat. If someone had told me 2 years ago that I would be able to do this in Skyrim, I wouldn't believe him simply because of the engine limitations. But here we are. Both features are integrated really well, with a lot of options to tweak in the mod menu if you wish to do so. I didn't change anything though, I left it on default and it works great. Well, almost great because sometimes you can encounter some bugs here and there, but for the most part it works well. The parry mechanic triggers when you bash your opponents right before their attack. By default it's set to work on power attacks only, but you can change that in the mod menu so it works on every attack, but I don't recommend this. The slow-mo effect that you can see is not related to this mod, but it will help you with parries. It's just one of the perks in the block tree and it's called quick reflexes. Once you bash the power attack you'll hear this sound effect. <laughs> And if you press the attack button right after this, you'll perform a counter attack that deals increased damage and throws your opponents on the ground. It feels really satisfying when you pull this off and it's really useful in fights with multiple opponents. 
If you are playing in first person, the mod will still work, but it will automatically put you in third person when you execute this move, just like some kill camps. You will have to zoom out manually a bit though, just like in this fight scene. When it comes to backstabs, it works as you would expect. Once you're behind someone, you can automatically backstab them in or out of the combat. But like you saw in the intro, NPCs can do it as well. It's definitely not easy to pull it off in combat and it would be close to impossible without another mod. Mortal enemies will remove the aimbot attacks and it makes the strafing around the opponent possible. In vanilla Skyrim you could turn around while in the middle of a strike and enemies can pretty much 360 no scope you. This mod removes that and it becomes easier to go around your target. But it's still not really easy so you can't actually abuse it so don't worry. All of this combined with TK dodge mod makes the gameplay much more dynamic and interesting in my opinion. TK dodge allows you to, well, dodge. But as you can see, my character is not using the default dodge roll option. In order to use the step dodge like me in this video, you'll just need to check that option in the mod menu. If you maybe think that this is not fair because NPCs can't dodge your attacks, the next mod will change that. Ultimate Combat mod adds a lot of new features and it can also be considered as a framework for this mod list. It works great with Smilodon and it's fully compatible. Just make sure to place it above Smilodon in your load order. Ultimate Combat adds a lot of new attacks for humans, Drogo and Skeleton, Falmer, Dragon Priests, Dwarf Centurions and Giants. Amongst other features, it also adds locational damage. You get different benefits for hitting the head, arms or foot. And by the way, if you're wondering what mod adds this swing effect on the weapon, it's Ultimate Combat. I suggest reading the mod page for more info, not just for this mod, but for everything on the list. The next mod on the list is called Sekiro Combat. As you could probably see in the part about blocking, it's much more flashy and impactful. The regular block will produce the shimmering fire spark effect, but time block has this bright flash. But this is not just a graphic effect, the mod also adds a deflect mechanic. Performing a timed block or deflecting attacks, as the mod author calls this feature, will stagger opponents if their stamina is low enough. You can even deflect explosions and forces, but not direct spell hits. It's one of the best mods that I recently discovered and I highly recommend it regardless of the mod list. The last two big mods on the list are Archery Gameplay Overhaul and Apocalypse. Archery Gameplay Overhaul improves the playstyle with a bow in a couple of major ways. You probably noticed how my character is holding his bow. It adds new animations for first and third person with knocked arrows. This mod also adds enchanted arrows, which you can use by equipping one of the four rings. Just like every other mod on this list, it adds a lot of features and there is no way to include them all in this video without talking for hours. Apocalypse adds bunch of new spells, 155 to be exact. They all seem like they belong to Skyrim and it's probably the most popular magic mod. That would be all for the major mods for this setup to work, now I'm going to quickly go through every optional mod on this list. Third person camera overhaul will improve and modernize the camera features while in third person. Since the third person camera in Skyrim is by default static, it doesn't feel particularly great to fight while being in that perspective. Most modern third person action games have similar camera movement, so why you should not include it in Skyrim? The next optional mod is Himka's Lock On. The reason why I'm listing this mod as optional is because I don't use it that much in combat. I found it much easier to perform backstabs while I'm not using it and sometimes it messes with the camera. But it's always nice to have it as an option. Strange runes spellcasting enhanced is the next mod on the list. This mod adds those nice rune effects around every spell and it works great with Apocalypse. End of description. If you're wondering about those numbers, floating damage is the mod that adds them. And this is the full list of animation mods. Beastie Greatsword, Mofu One-Handed Sword Power Attack Forward, new animations for magic casting. Make sure to carefully read the mod description and check everything you need before installing these mods. And if you're perhaps new to modding, I suggest you to watch Gopher's guides. His guides are really well made and you'll start learning in no time. And on a side note, he's my favorite YouTuber. I'll leave all the links for the mods in the description. And that would be it pretty much. Press the thumbs up button if you liked the video and consider subscribing for more RPG content. Click on the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube exclusive members and if you as well want to become one of them, all the links are in the description. That would be all and I'll see you in the next one.